Welcome to MathCast Edition 12, where we will be focusing on using algebraic patterni patterning to factor trinomials. Uh, this is referred to as the decomposition technique, and hopefully we'll clean her up any issues you might have. So if you have watched MathCast Edition 11, we developed the steps and concepts involved in this particular patterning approach and you'll recognize them as steps 1, 2, 3, and 4 here. So if I wish to factor by decomposition 8x squared plus 10x plus 3, my first step is to find the numbers. So I use my sentence, I need two numbers that multiply for 24 and add for 10. And a reminder that the 24 comes from 8 times 3, that's these two together. Give me the 24, and the sum, or 10, just comes straight from there. So I am looking for two numbers that multiply for 24, add for 10, and I have those numbers to be 6 and 4. So I am going to take my original, 8x squared plus 10x plus 3, and I am going to decompose the middle term into the two numbers found in step one. So you can see here that 10x becomes 6x plus 4x. So I've split those into two pieces. The order does not matter. The technique will still work even if you reverse them. The factoring just would be a little different. So I'm going to common factor the first two terms and then the other two terms. So out of the first two terms here, this is referred to as group factoring, I common factor out a 2x out of the next two terms, I'm going to common factor out a positive 1. And this is important because I need these brackets here to be exactly the same so that I can proceed to step 4. So as you can see, I have the exact same bracket of 4x plus 3 in both terms, separated by the plus sign. So I can common factor out that 4x plus 3 out front, and I'm left with 2x plus 1. In conclusion, our 8x squared plus 10x plus 3 trinomial, when it's factored, breaks down into two binomials, 4x plus 3 and 2x plus 1. So again, if you think of the area model, we have our area equals length times width. Let's try another one. 2x squared minus 5x minus 12, if I want to factor this, again, I start with my sentence. I need two numbers that multiply for negative 24 and add for negative 5. With a bit of thinking and some calculator checks if necessary, we come up with the two numbers of negative 8 and positive 3. So I'm going to decompose that middle term. So my negative 5x becomes negative 8x plus 3x. Again, pause this at any time to make sure you understand or you can see where the numbers are coming from. I then common factor the first two terms, common factor the second two terms, keeping in mind that I want this bracket of x minus 4 to show up in both terms. If that doesn't show up, again, a reminder that needs to be there. If that doesn't show up, then I can't proceed to step 4. But if it's there, then I have x minus 4 is common to both terms. I can common factor that out, and I'm left with the final result here of two binomials multiplied together. Therefore, my 2x squared minus 5x minus 12, when it's fully factored, becomes x minus 4 times 2x plus 3. You may wish to pause this and look over the area model, which we developed in earlier math casts. You can see that I have my 6x squareds in here, and then using the zero principle, these pairs will cancel. So the only odd term left is the negative x, which is right here, and my negative 2 is down on the bottom. So if I do the decomposition, I look for two numbers that multiply for negative 12 and sum for negative 1. So when I find my two numbers, they are, grab the right
right highlight here. They are 3 and negative 4. So I decompose the middle term into positive 3 and negative 4. I can then common factor a 3x out of the first two terms. I can common factor a negative 2 out of the next two terms. And then I common factor that entire bracket out. I would like to point out that on this line here, the second line of the decomposition, we actually have all of the pieces that are used in the area model. And the last line is, of course, the dimensions on the area model. One more here before we try this on our own. I wish to factor 2x squared minus x minus 3. So I've left the area model sitting out here. For the decomposition, I'm going to need two numbers that multiply for negative 6 and sum for negative 1. So those two numbers are positive 2 and negative 3. So I can break down that middle term. I can then group factor or common factor the first two terms, the last two terms. And again, I have an x plus 1 that's common to both. I can factor that out front. So pause it again here, have a look, compare the final results to the area model, pointing out that this line here is actually all of the pieces that are involved in the area model, and the last line are the dimensions on the outside. So if you'd like to pause the video here, and this one you can try on your own. I've left the steps up for you to walk through. So if you'd like to pause it, then I'll be back in one second to give you the solution. All right, so here we go. I use my sentence. I need two numbers that multiply for negative 12 and add for negative 11. Well, if I set up my little P and S on the side here and figure that out, I come up with negative 12 and positive 1. I decompose the middle terms, so I break down my negative 11 into positive 1 and negative 12. See that right there? Again, the order here doesn't matter. You'll still end up with the same result. Group factor into piece or into two separate pieces. Common factor from the first two terms and the last two terms. So out of the first two terms, there's an x common. Out of the second two terms, there's a negative 4 common. Note the sign change on the positive 1, please, right here. And then I have the 3x plus 1 common in both brackets. I can factor that out front. Let me just highlight that. This whole piece here comes around, and I'm left with the x minus 4 as my final. So therefore, 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 as a trinomial can be factored to 3x plus 1 times x minus 4. Thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please send an email to childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thank you very much.